And fun fact, do you know that apart from the sensors inside the Galaxy Ring, there's also a Samsung logo with the size of your ring next to it? I found this nice little Easter egg when I was shooting the video and I thought that would be fun to tell you. Now the Galaxy Ring comes in several sizes from size 5 to size 15 and I think one of the most important tips is to get your right size. And I found that compared to other smart rings like the Ultra Human Ring which I have right here, the Samsung Galaxy Ring tends to run small which means that you'll probably need a much bigger size than you initially thought you require. And here in Malaysia I know for you to be able to get the Galaxy Ring you actually need to walk into a store and do a test there and if you live in a region where you can you know do the self test by yourself i really really recommend you go maybe half a size up or a size up to be able to get the proper size for yourself because yeah this ring when i first you know chose my size that i measured at home i measured a size 7 and when i got the actual ring at the location and i tried size 7 it was never going to fit this is a size 13 so that shows you like how much off i was from a size 7 to a size 13 so please choose carefully. Now after buying the ring you're left with one question. What finger do I use this ring on? And I'll suggest that you actually use the index finger right here because not only is it quite convenient to put in this uh, index finger, it will also make some tips in this video is very relevant such as the gestures. Say you just got the Samsung Galaxy ring and you want to turn this into the ultimate smart ring. Then you are in the right place because in today's video i'll be sharing all the tips the tricks and everything you need to know to get the best out of your samsung galaxy ring but first hi i'm captain awesome this is a geekception i really appreciate it if you like subscribe donate and do all of that fun stuff but let's get into it next let's talk about some of the essential apps you're going to need if you're going to be using the galaxy ring here on a day-to-day -day basis now for me i'll consider these two apps essential which the first one is galaxy wearable which is the one where it will tell you your ring status it will show you the battery life as you can see here it will show you all of the settings and gestures and everything we're going to come to in this video and the next one is samsung health which is where you'll be able to see all of your metrics all of your data you'll be able to actually take advantage of the ring tracking and all of that and thankfully with your samsung galaxy device it should be pre-installed and if it is not you should get a pop-up when you first use your galaxy ring for the first time but if for some reason it's still not there all you have to do is very simple you just head into your galaxy store here on your galaxy device and you should be able to you know search for the app in this case it's the galaxy wearable app and you can be able to download it and install it easily next let's talk metrics and your galaxy ring can actually track quite a few activities here and if we go to our dock here and we open the samsung health app you can be able to see just a quick overview of all of your metrics here which i really like especially the energy score which tells you you know how you're feeling and i found this to be quite accurate actually both from my galaxy watch ultra that i have here as well as the galaxy ring 2 and uh, the energy score here is of course not always on the money every single time but it's able to tell you some of your metrics as like your sleeping heart rate and all of that if we go back here another thing i like here is the sleep score which i use all the time and as you can see i'm a pro here i have excellent sleep 95 uh, a sleep score here and what i like here is the breakdown of your sleep cycles so you can be able to sleep not just how long you slept which you can see it here in the app but you can also see you know what is your physical recovery like you can also see your mental recovery your sleep cycles and you know i always try to get that four sleep cycles here on the galaxy ring but um yeah you can be able to see in fact a very good deep breakdown of all of the metrics such as you know uh, your deep sleep and your rem sleep and a tip here is that your galaxy phone can actually record snoring if you want it to so all you have to do is have it plugged next to your bedside and it can actually capture snoring now i don't plug in my phone when i you know sleep if not i would have been able to get some data here and there is also step tracking of course which the galaxy ring can do as well as activity tracking like this morning i did like some activities now this is the one i manually uh, started on my galaxy watch ultra but the galaxy ring i'm sure has some automatic activities it can track such as walking and all of that so that would be really really cool too and the next tip here is that your galaxy ring actually has some gestures that it supports which 
Fun fact, Samsung, at least at the time I'm making this video, is the only manufacturer that has gestures supported on their ring. And here on the ring, you have two gestures. The first is a double pinch to dismiss an alarm, while the second one is a double pinch to take a picture or a video. And turning it on is actually very, very simple. All you have to do is add into your wearable app. Now on the app here, you just scroll down and you will find gestures here. So we just tap on the gestures and you will in fact see how to do the gestures, which is just to take yeah, your index finger and your thumb and just double pinch like that. And I think it's the same gesture for the watch ultra as well now lastly i want you to enable dismiss alarm and take picture or video and whenever your alarm rings or whenever you want to take a photo it's easy as just double pinching next let's set up some automatic detections and doing it is quite easy all you need to do is open your galaxy wearable app tap on health settings here Let's tap on heart rate alert. And here you have two settings you can enable high and low heart rate. And for me, I've set it to 120 beats per minute for my high and 40 beats per minute for my low heart rate. So if I ever go below or above those heart rates and I'm just at rest where I'm just sitting down normally, I'll get an alert to maybe perhaps go to an hospital to get myself checked out. And I suggest you turn this on as well. And when we go back here, you should be able to enable activities to detect on your phone. I have it turned off because I have everything set up on my Galaxy Watch Ultra here, but you should be able to turn on this feature, which means that you should be able to auto detect some activities such as walking and you do not need to do anything. The ring itself here will automatically detect it and start doing something. Now let's talk suggested activities. Now, when you have this Galaxy Ring, when should you use the Galaxy Ring or where should you not use the Galaxy Ring? And I would say when you are running, when you are stretching, when you are indoors, I think the Galaxy Ring is great. And also another use case I found is that I can put my watch to charge overnight because I'm not going to need it to track any sort of super specific GPS activities, but I can use this to track my sleep so I don't have to have this bulky thing on my hands. And I found that worked pretty well too. If you want to work out with this, yes, you can it will track your activities because it does have the sensors and everything but I wouldn't suggest it because it's easy to get scratched especially with the weights and it might scratch up against several metal parts of the gym or any of the gym equipment so I wouldn't really suggest you use a smart ring in general and here on the galaxy ring as well to do any sort of intense activity where you're going to be hitting stuff but if you do not mind if you're one of those people who buys leather because you want it to age and have character then you know i would just call that character as well if this is going to scratch up and you're going to have all of the dings and all of the you know life's uh, stories on your ring well go ahead it's your money right now a common question i've been asked when i tell people i have a smart ring is that can I take this into the shower? And you absolutely can, because here on the Galaxy Ring, you have IP68 water and dust resistance. And in fact, you can take this up to 10 ATM when swimming or diving, and it should still be perfectly fine. And for me, I'd say, you know, still washing my hands when I come in from outside and, you know, just with light showers and all that. I don't shower it with rings specifically because I think that's just the boomer in me where I just need to take off all technology from my body before I shower. But you can absolutely shower here with the Galaxy Ring and it should be fine, no problem. Another tip here for the ring is I suggest you turn on Find My Ring, which is exactly what it sounds like. So when you open the Galaxy Wearable app here and you scroll down, you should be able to find the Find My Ring section here. And when you open it, you should be able to see the location of your ring and if you've not, you'll get a prompt to just be able to set it up. And now you can be able to use Google's Find My settings to find your ring in case you leave it behind. And a nice feature I like here is that in the Find My app here, you can be able to blink the lights of the ring. So in case you dropped it somewhere, the ring will continuously flash light until you pick it up. And when you go into the ring settings here, you should also be able to find a notify when left behind setting so that in case you accidentally forget your ring, let's say you take it off, you'll be able to get a notification to put it back on. Next, let's talk power and charging, starting with this very elegant charging case that it comes with. Now this case takes an hour to charge from zero to a hundred. And according to the specifications for this charging case, it can actually charge the ring up to 20 times, which I think is just simply amazing. And it doesn't 
doesn't end there. Not only does it support wired charging, which means that when you put this into the case, you can charge the ring, but you can actually wirelessly charge this case as well. So you have two options of recharging the case and even has pass through charging so you can charge the case and the ring at the same time. And something cool here is that if you have a Galaxy device like I do here, this is the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, you can actually go into your notifications here and turn on wireless power sharing, where in, if you're in a pinch and you don't have any you know, uh, plug point, you can actually just place your phone uh, or face down like this, put the charging case and actually start charging the case. Like, isn't this super cool where you can just recharge the case with your phone? Okay, what of battery life? How long does this ring last? And how do you even know your battery percentage? Well, it's quite easy here. Now on the ring itself, when you actually take it off, the light inside the ring itself will flash green if the battery percentage is above 15%, or it will flash red if the battery level is below 15%. So that's an easy and quick way to be able to know your battery percentage level without checking your phone. Now say you do want to use your phone to check the battery level, that is very easy as well. You can either have like one of these widgets which I have on my lock screen here where, you know, when I unlock my phone or even before I unlock my phone, I can see my ring level there. Or you can go into your uh, Samsung wearable app and in the wearable app itself, you should be able to see the battery percentage of your ring there. And if you have multiple devices, it's as easy as just swiping between one and the other and you should be able to see the percentage of the other device there. So that's how you check it with your phone. And you can actually check the battery percentage with the case here as well. Now, all you have to do is put the ring in the case and press the button and it will light up showing you the battery percentage and it's like super duper cool how it does this. Now without the ring if you press that button here on the case it's actually light up to show you the battery percentage of the case itself which I think is super cool how they implemented everything here. It just shows a very very deep percentage of thought that Samsung put into all of these things here which I quite like. And the unboxing process for the Galaxy Ring here was pretty straightforward, but one thing I like with the box here is the attention to detail, where when you feel the box here, it actually feels like a ring as well. I think that was a very nice touch I just had to mention. And of course, the unboxing process is very typical. You have your manuals, you have your warranty card, you have the ring itself, the USB to Type-C to Type-C cable, as well as the charging case, which I was quite surprised was included in the box. And that's pretty much it for the unboxing boxing process for the Samsung Galaxy Ring. And there you have it. Those are some of my setup tips for the Samsung Galaxy Ring here. If you want to maximize and get everything out of this ring that you possibly can. Now I have had another ring for a while. This is the ultra human ring that I have here is the ultra human ring air. And I so look forward to comparing it with the new Samsung Galaxy Ring that I have here. And I've been wearing this for quite a while. I think I've been wearing it for about six, seven months now. So I have so many thoughts. So make sure you subscribe so you can see my comparison of which one is going to be the ultimate ring here. And until next time, I really appreciate you making it all the way to the end of the video. Please let me know what are some of your tips or questions or any of the you know opinions you have about the Samsung Galaxy ring here. And I'll definitely be checking the comments right there. And please don't forget to text me so I know you made it home safe. And since you got home safely, don't forget to please support in whatever way you can. I really appreciate it. I really, you know, put a lot into making these videos and, you know, however way it is, you can support whether it's a like, whether it's a subscribe, whether it's, you know, donating to my Patreon or becoming a channel member here so you can get some exclusive behind the scenes content. That would be great as well. But until next time, I've been your captain of awesome. This is Exception. Don't forget to stay awesome. Bye. And thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. I just, you know, got the ring not long ago and I've been using it for a while. I wanted to just put together my tips video and yeah, I think everything just flew out of my brain immediately and I put it down and I have everything. And since you're here, I actually just got like a TV that I won. Can you believe this from Samsung? 
which is right here at like the uh, Raya, which is like Eid event. And I don't know if you can see, but I have like an even bigger TV there. That's a 75 inch and I want like this 65 inch TV. So I have no idea where I'm going to put, put this TV. This is all the space that I have right here. So I literally have no space apart from there. And also since you are here, I got this HP laptop. It's like a Snapdragon X Elite laptop. Um, so tons of content will be coming uh, for that as well. So let me know if you want to see any content about the HP. But yes, thank you for making it all the end of the video, which is why you get all of this behind the scenes stuff, right? And um, yeah, for the hashtag in your comments, so I know you made it all the way to the end, just put hashtag uh tv is too big so i know you made it all the way here but yes please take care of yourself let me know how you're doing let me know what you're obsessed with let me know what you're excited about and i'll catch you in the next one don't forget to stay awesome okay all right bye